Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Abermans, on the Abermansia Peninsula. I'm stood on a roof. I landed on a roof off of Elytra. I did I did mean to. I didn't like to crash into the roof, just for the record. I did land on the roof because I thought I've not done an intro from a roof. So I thought I'd do that. So today we're going to be building something that a number of people have said, here, Avo, you ought to try this. And so I'm going to, basically. I'm going to give it a go. And we're going to see whether or not I can make a right old hash of it or whether it is going to be something worth doing. So to see it, let me just turn myself around. Right, I'm going to run, fly and run off of here and swoop. Why did me Elytra not turn on? I've got me Elytra on, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Um, oh, first off, thank you for those people that noted that I was a bit of a wally. No news there then, right? So where I hadn't actually activated the secondary power on here. Can't climb up. So now look, secondary power of regeneration is activated and I've got haste activated as well, I decided. So that's working all right now. Thank you for people saying, you know you've not activated your secondary power, have I, right? And I thought, you know what? They're not wrong, I haven't. So I now have activated it. We're going over to the castle. Now, I've done a little bit more work on a castle. I haven't done any machinations or whatever the things are called where you lob oil down from above i may because i've had a couple of people bunny bond you know who you are i may put some on but i don't know if it's going to be quite right for this particular castle design but what i have put on is a little bit of kind of covered lighting type stuff up the sides there and also I've added in these uh, trap doors, which I think actually make for quite a nice little pattern on the front, gives it a little bit more substance, takes away from the gray, which is really what I wanted to do. I've done some decoration around the entrance and underneath there's a little bit more light. Um, there's also more light under there and I've repeated that on this side. I've done very little else in here, frankly, because, well, I just haven't had time. I do really want to do a good job of it, but at the moment, that's as good as I have got. So I'm just going to go up because I want to show you what is going on. Um, yeah, this is the hole. Right, so something's appeared. Something has appeared in the bay. Oh, that looks very much to me like it's going to be some kind of boat. Um, you know what because because it is some kind of boat you, you, you realize that is a boat please tell me you realize that's going to be a boat that's going to be a boat um i thought it would be fun to build a boat in there so if i just do that if i swoop across i'm inside the boat i still got bashed didn't i eat some steak is that the only food i've got oh i've run out of food Quick, i better get some more food but i've i've done the base I've not, I mean, I've not fitted it out or anything, but I've done the base itself, which I'm quite happy with. Um, let me just get out of here. Oh, except I can't, can I? Um, right, I'll tell you what, shove yourself a thing there, and then you'll be able to get out. There you go, man. There you go. Um, so underneath, it's relatively speaking, I think it works. We've got the right sort of shape. It's symmetrical, which is always a good thing. I need to detail it a little bit more, I think. But so far, I think that's not too shabby. I'm quite pleased with it. And the boat itself has got, you know, a decent point. It's got a good shape. It's got a flat bum. All the things you'd expect a nice boat to have. So I'm going to be working on that today. And we see if we can't make something that looks half decent. We're also going to go over to the Hall of Heroes because we've got stuff to do there. And the mate's base, of course. So that is today's episode. Before we do anything, we are going to come over to the mate's base. I've decided we'll do this first today. And hang on, where am I going? Go up the stairs. You know where the mate's base is. How many times have you been doing this? It's like episode 67, for goodness sake. Get yourself in the mate's base. That's the base where you've got loads of mates. Right, so um, am I 67, 64, 65? Look, I put some, some flowers in that gap where I had... A little bit of a mishap with the grass. I remembered to fill it with something. They mean something, and you know who you are. Dan and Amy, uh, Argle Bargle, and this is 
the torches in the way. Hang on. Right, so this... 67, yeah. I had a check then. My, my mind, for goodness sake. Right, so episode 67. So today's mate is always there. It's a hymn. It is just a hymn. It's always there. I am hugely, hugely grateful for you. And you always hit that like button. You always share the video. And those are the things that, I mean, make such a difference to the channel. So today, my mate is Marty... Fletcher. Marty, it is an absolute pleasure to add you to this hugely, hugely exclusive group of significantly awesome people. You are definitely due your place amongst them. And I'm going to fire a rocket. Boom! It didn't go boom because it's not a firework. But I did fire the rocket in honour of your addition. Really, really good to have you, Marty. Thanks so much for the amazing support you've given me over the months. It's a real pleasure to know you. Let's get into the Hall of Heroes. We still haven't caught fire. I reckon we're safe. I reckon we're safe. Please don't catch fire. Please don't let me come here and find the thing has burnt down to the ground. That wouldn't do at all. Right, so we've got some really, really great stuff going on today. We've had not only some new patrons, but some new members as well. I'm No, that's not members. That's Alphacraft. We've had some new members as well. I th I think maybe I did start again, but I'm not going to. We're going to keep going. And we've had some updates to existing members. This wonderful group of people here have all been promoted to Brown, if you consider that a promotion. Debbie, Kathy, Tyler and Amy, all of you now have wool that matches your armour. Aren't you lucky? Um, no, nothing more to say. That. Brown, you're all brown. What can I tell you? We have also had an upgrade. Mad Mountain, you've broken the month. Thank you so much. You have got a blue cube now. And we've also had two new friends. Donald, kid, Donald, thank you so much for taking the decision to become a member of the channel. It is an absolute pleasure to have had the chance to chat to you over the last few weeks. Um, thank you very much for the support. And Inviolate Tree, thank you again. It's massively amazing that you would take the decision to become a member of the channel. It is really, really uh, a big deal. And I thank you very, very much. You now both, of course, get access to the avamance.com Redstone blog, as do all the members. And uh, I hope you enjoy the meanderings of the fall that is Avamance that goes on in that blog. You are very, very welcome to place comments and giggle at me. So we are coming over to the Hall of Patrons. And also, Redstone and Diamond Patrons both also get access to the blog as part of the uh, incentive scheme for being a Redstone or a Diamond Patron. So that is one opportunity for you. But we've also had, where you gone, where you gone? There you are. William, thank you so much for becoming a Cobble Patron. These Cobble Patrons, they're the absolute, I was gonna say bedrock, but it's not bedrock, it's Cobble. You're the bedrock of the channel. It's huge deal that you all take the decision to support the channel the way you do. And I'm hugely, hugely grateful. Thank you, William. It is a pleasure to have you amongst this little iron can-can going on here. And we also have over here, where are you gone? There we are. Rex, thank you for joining the channel as a Redstone patron. It is an honor. I've, uh, we've chatted backwards and forwards the last few weeks and it's been a real pleasure to get to know you. Thanks for the support. I'm hugely grateful you make a massive difference to my ability to carry on. And like I say, you now have access to the blog. If you can't find the password, drop me a line and I'll let you know what it is. Brilliant. So grateful for you guys. You guys are awesome. If you want to get involved with either the patrons or the members, please do find the link in the description and I'll look forward to maybe making a statue of you in here. I think if many more of you join, I'm going to have to make another extension, so you'll be able to watch me do that as well. Brilliant. Let's get back to the actual peninsula, because we have some work to do, do we not? There we oh, I did that with one rocket then. I don't think I've ever done that before. One more, and then I do another rocket, and look, there's the... I'm trying to do it to scale because if I do it to scale it won't look daft because this this puppy's going to be big definitely big but I don't want it so big that it makes no sense so you, you get the idea right I'm going to get some resources because uh, we're going to need some to make this thing and I will see oh I almost didn't hit it and I'll see you back by the boat
we're out next to the boat and castle in the background looks pretty cool actually i'm quite pleased i'm clearly going to need to fortify this otherwise the castles and the towers there aren't going to look quite right i need to do a little bit of fortification around but really this is all about this ship so let's get myself turned around i've got a load of stuff here that i'm going to be using um but the first thing i think i need to do is i need to um create kind of the floor so i started doing that using slabs over here as you can see already um now this is a bottom slab now my theory is if i use bottom slabs here theoretically right one underneath it's all you know like well full without a little gap but two it means that there shouldn't be um spawnability on those blocks right so i figured that's probably a logical thing to do i am going to empty out the water in this boat by the way it's not going to be um you know like a, a sinking ship or anything like that i'm gonna have to get myself more blooming things aren't i know what a nightmare um i've not i've managed to not bring myself enough stuff right come out of the water fella because you don't need to be in the water okay so let's fill what I'm, I'm going to do, I'm just going to make the floor completely, I think. And that way, after I've made it completely, I can then dig it out. Oh, that's not right. I can then dig it out um, where I don't want it. I think that's probably the most logical thing for me to do. So if I make the entire floor first um, with these bottom slabs, don't keep falling in the water, that will allow me to do what I need to do do so i'm just going to do that i'll be back in a bit i'll probably do that and maybe empty the water out somehow or start to build something on the underneath before i get back to you so i'll be back in a bit i thought i'd just share with you what i'm doing to empty out this i've not got sponges you see because the ocean monument i've i've not conquered it yet the one that i found well, however many episodes ago it was i've not even gone back so i've not got prismarine i've not got sea lanterns other than the few that i picked up so i've not got any sponges and actually doing this with sponges wouldn't even be that easy frankly but i am filling it up with sand instead and then i'm going to dig the sand out i think whilst it is not the the most efficient way of doing it um, I wanted to do something that's going to be easy to dig out. I didn't want to fill it out with wood because what I ended up doing is punching a hole in the side of the boat and that wasn't what I wanted to do. So I had to go and get a load of sand and uh, I'm filling it out with sand and then I'm going to dig it out and then I'm going to have... Hang on. There's a nice... Where's my air pocket? There it is. Phew. I was just about to drown. Oh, wow, that looks nice in the night time. That's cool. Right, anyway, so I'm going to carry on doing this, and I'll be back when I've done a bit more. You can see I'm also starting to build up a higher deck there as well. So I've been building, and of course, the one thing I've not bought is a bed. And I've also not bought any food. So I'm just fighting off the phantoms. Whilst, oh, that's an appalling shot, man. Right, so come on, come at me. There we go. You can die a lot. Um, and basically, I need to get myself some food. But before I do, this is what I've done so far. So you can see we've got the startings of a bit of an edge. Just the startings of it. Um, with some steps that are going to go up to like a... I don't know. Is the poop deck at the back or the front? I'm not entirely sure. But the deck at the... Don't you come at me as well, for goodness sake. There we go. That's you and your mate, sorted. Oh, I fell down the stairs, fired an arrow, and still at it. That's how Katniss Everdeen I am. I'm Avernus Everdeen. Yes. Right, anyway. Stop talking, man, for goodness sake. Start talking relevance. So down on the under level here, what I've got is I, I need to partition this out. So this is going to be something. I'm not entirely sure. And then we've got kind of a partition there and then underneath here we've got basically the belly of the ship this is going to be what will become the mast there that will continue out the top and then on this side here this is going to become the captain's quarter oh look i got a little 
my sandy area. Right, so I've got a little uh, captain's quarters area here that I'm going to do something with. Not entirely sure. It's going to have steps down into the captain's quarters. Don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Not entirely sure. Don't you come at me. Oh, no. A arrow bounced off you. That's not right, big or clever. Good. Right, anyway, I'm going to go and get some food and some... Um, Basically, some other bits and pieces that I've not got. And then I'll be back when I've done... I'm just going to get this XP off. I'll be back when I've done just a little bit more. So I'm not entirely sure what the bit at the front of the boat here could be. So I'm just going to kind of block this bit off here with, well, blocks, because that's what you block things off with. Um, and I'm going to make... Where's my things? There we go. And I'm going to make um, these stairs so they go kind of upwards to a deck above here. But I wonder whether or not I could turn this little bit here into something um, interesting. And I'm not entirely sure what yet. So I'm, I've got some thoughts. But if I just pop those there, if I create this section around here like this I'm sort of making this up as I go along just a little bit which is obviously not normally my style was there you go um, that's a joke by the way with it not normally being my style it's absolutely my style to do something along those lines so I'm gonna get some more torches I'm gonna put a torch there a torch there and a torch there um, I don't like the way that's like that so I'm gonna do that 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 and that now this is lending itself to a very small room now what makes me think here now a very small room um, yes I did I thought I did um, a very small room lends itself to a brig so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create the brig and that is literally going to be that now I know yes I know there's no door there is no door in this brig you get thrown in this brig by being squeezed through the tight bars and that's part of punishment I don't know just something like that but I figured we need a brig so we've got a brig there which is awesome um probably that's now Oh, no, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So that can go up there like that. That can go up there like that, because we do have an edge. And that can then run onto the top of the boat. Is that going to work? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get the mast up the middle. And that will give me a bit of a vantage point, I think. If I can't, I don't know how high I'm going to do this. I think that's probably high enough. Um, then I want to build out. Coming up this way, I want to build out uh, a half slab. This coming around like this. I may end up making this mast higher. I'm not sure. I can't see it from a distance yet. But if I was to do that and then pop that, that, uh, of course I've got to make that into, I've got, yeah, I've still got some left, that's okay, it's okay, if I pop that there like that, that kind of becomes a crow's nest, doesn't it? Right, where's me rockets? So is this high enough? Let me take this up this way. Just having a bit of a peek. If I fly at it, um, hmm. you know what? I wonder if that needs to be just a little bit taller. You know, I think maybe. Let me come along here. So I think possibly a little bit taller would make sense. Crash into the roof. There we go. So now I can look at it properly. Um, 
Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that's tall enough. Perhaps it bothers me slightly that it's not in the absolute middle, though. So let's just run this way. Don't think it's in the middle, is it? It's not. But that, I think it's okay. I'm going to leave it there because the billow of the sail should do what I want it to do. Okay, I've got some ideas. I'm nearly there. I have done a little bit more and I'm just about, you can see sort of a flag. Have you ever tried to do a skull and crossbones using blocks in a not very big space? It's impossible. So we've got a white dot. It's the new skull and crossbones. Everybody's going that way. It's the new thing. Pirates are all the, vo all the vogue now. But that is there where we are so far. I decided we weren't going to go for an unfurled sail because the thing's pulled up. It's docked. It's not going to have a sail that's billowing, is it? That's what happens when you're sailing, not when you're parked. What's the phrase for a, a boat that's not moving and Par is parked docked it's not really in a dock is it so i don't know what that means it's stopped it's stopped in the water so it has got its sails all curled up at the top but i've bought uh together the the deck at the front the deck at the back and the lower deck in the middle as well and it's um i think it's starting to look okay so I'm just gonna have a look across at it oh and i'm gonna bash myself so we've got I need to do something on there. We'll, we'll do that a bit later. But I've got some detail going around here. Obviously got our, um, our prison-y bit there. This is the deck at the back. And I'm going to somehow have to work out how I'm going to get kind of the steering wheel thing. Is it called a steering wheel or just a wheel? I don't know. I'm not a pirate. I have no idea. And in here, I did the captain's cabin. I went a bit mad. So I thought we could do here that's an anvil i've used quite a lot of anvils but i've got plenty of iron so that's not a problem it's an anvil used as a torch holder which i thought worked quite well coming down we've got a table he's got a very big bed because he's a very important pirate and we've got some glass in the back and i've used um a bit of the the dark oak like the the chocolate bar trap doors which i really really like and that works quite well just to add a bit of decoration there plenty of storage obviously this dude is a pirate he needs to have stuff for his treasure and he's got his kind of table i've seen pirates of the caribbean all captains have got a big table right so coming out of the door i've started to put in a bit of rigging but obviously i need to put in more rigging between the other two uh posts up here you can see what i mean there yeah and so i'm not entirely sure how i'm going to do the wheel and also it's really bland let's just come underneath so i've got obviously this area here i need to build that up coming down here i've got a little sleepy bed there that i was sleeping in to try and get the nights gone i'm going to do something down here as well not entirely sure but all in all, I think it's coming on all right, actually. I'm quite pleased with the way it's gone. I need to do loads more details. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to get all the detail in and probably when I come back, I need to get loads more fences as well. When I come back, I might even be nearly there. So we are done. I've done a bit of extra detail on it. I'm just going to stand on here for a sec. So we've got our figurehead at the front there. Not awesome, I'm going to be honest, but it's not too bad. I put in an extra mask because I figured that single um, sail wasn't going to be enough. So we've got a, another small mast at the front with a smaller sail. Now, I'm not sure that the sail at the front is meant to be smaller. I think I seem to remember something like a spinnaker is actually quite a big sail. But we've gone a little bit against the norm with a small sail at the front. Lots of rigging um, and bit of uh, extra detail on the side we've got cannons coming out the side and i think it looks all right so let's go and have a look if i swoop over i do so love my lad Tra if i swoop over and try not to die uh, if i come to the top first we're going to go and stand on the figureheads well on the figureheads ed over here here we go so we can see we've got that small sail at the front with a little bit of rigging on that smaller mast jump there we go and down here we've got obviously more rigging on that much larger mast i think that works quite well actually you've got the ability to go up the mast 
using this ladder come up on here and then you can come and walk along on here easy easy and then you can see what's going on because like these pirates they're mental aren't they when it comes to climbing up bits and pieces they just don't care um, and then come up here swoop oh I very nearly went off then uh, <laughs> I nearly fell off I think I landed on a cannon I was saved by a cannon and then we've got some more detail um, coming up on it I've not a clue genuinely not a clue how to do this wheel if you've got any ideas how to make the wheel better I'll be very very open to it it's okay at best but we've got lots of lovely rigging ability to get up to the crow's nest using that ladder there um, lighting everywhere purely and simply just to make sure we don't get any mob spawning because the the proximity of the mob farm over there is such that I didn't want any mobs to be spawnable on here so let's go downstairs so first off my silk touch pick came into play I got some gold and some diamond um, and I'm starting to run out of diamond <laughs> I need to go mine desperately I've got such a low stash of diamond now it's bonkers um, that's water not nearly enough water for the crew here definitely not and lots and lots of chests that they're going to be holding their treasure in obviously and then down in here this is where the crew's going to live we've got a load of bunk beds and pretty much nothing else because they they live in relative squalor so that i think actually came out all right i'm quite pleased let's get back up on here um i reckon it came out all right what do you think in the comments below let me know what you think about the ship it's going to try and attack the castle but i don't think it's going to be very successful because it's got no crew it's like the mary celeste so i am really really pleased with how this ship has come out i think it's it's probably one of the better builds i've done in a very long time with the castle in the background it actually looks pretty blooming grand i'm i'm very happy with it you'd have known what the ship looked like obviously because it's in the thumbnail of the video but hopefully it didn't spoil it too much or maybe it did i don't know anyway if you have enjoyed this video please do remember to slap that like button it'd be great to know you're enjoying it and i will keep on making them and also if you've not done it already please do hit that subscribe button it'd be great to see you in my sub club i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye